hello everyone it's me asmr welcoming you to my new photoshop tutorials and today i'll show you the color grading of a bright or like a gorgeous type girl photography so let's see what was the before one so before one is like that that image that is ordinary normal image and after that i applied a preset which i made it earlier and then i use a curves from the adjustment layer and then i used a light from coming from the right side it's just adding some ambient for these photographs and then i added a levels which is like uh, for adjustment of the light so let's start the tutorial if you are new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so go to the file and open up here is my stock image and thanks to avanti for giving this image and uh, thankful to her press command or control j or drag it and drop over here you'll get a copy of this and after that go to the filter and camera filter so you know camera filter is a plugins of the photoshop and uh, it's like uh, a plugins in the creative cloud version by default if you want to get this one in your photoshop in a cs version please check out my video description for the manual installation file download link so after that here is a small menu and go to the load settings options so load settings this one is the uh, like uh, xmp file i made it for you guys and that is the obonti and i'll load it up so after loading that you are getting a change let's see the before one and after one you are getting the color change before and after so i added the color grading by help of uh, by the help of the split toning so let's see what is the settings for the color grading so let's see here i use a uh, exposure 0 0.20 and the contrast minus 10 highlights minus 20 for the look of the like here is many kind of highlight color that's why i made the highlight color minus 21 shadow minus 14 and the clarity minus 1 to or 12 just because of it will be more like soft light soft thing will be appear by using the clarity if i make it minus value and after that i made the dehaze option plus 3 vibrance and saturation that is good uh, that is zero actually and after that here the sharpening amount 31 and noise reduction minus 32 actually 32 and the luminance detail 50 and after that hsl panel i made the hue of the red plus 9 for the yellowish tone and then the saturation plus 35 for like red tone saturation enhanced like that and the orange color down for the face color if i make the face color like that it will be good but uh, i'll suggest you to make it like normal moderated so here's the luminance that is red luminance i made it down minus 15 and orange 26 yellow plus 10 that's good and the split toning most important thing of this tutorial just because of i did the color grading by the help of these so split toning is that things highlight color and shadow color what will be the shadow color and what will be the highlight color define with the hue and uh, like saturation and same things in a shadow hue saturation it defines with the split toning that means you are splitting the tone or color by two things highlight and shadow so highlight color that is 150 for the value that is the hue value and the saturation 16 and the shadow 248 and saturation 6 that's good no lens correction issue over here and then fx minus 8 that is the push curve vignetting just because of the like black color vignetting in uh, four corners and then the camera calibration or calibration whatever you can tell so here three primary colors the red green and blue primary colors red primary color that is hue 13 plus 13 and the saturation 0 that's why you are getting the yellowish or orangish look and the green primary that is 26 plus 26 and then hue of the blue primary minus 14 and the saturation 13 that's good and let's see the before one and after one yeah normal image ordinary image but here you are getting the posh type color and hit ok after adding that you are getting the changes and after that go to the curves and i'll adjust the curves i'll lock over here and make it a little bit down and go to the blue tone curve and lock up here and then i'll change the tone like that yeah that is like output 18 that's good and then i'll add the like light how to add that take a new blank layer 
and go to the brush and select the color where i will pick up color from here and i'll make the color like this and select once command press command t and it will be bigger and just make it more bigger like that and after that change the blending mode into screen and then make the fill color like that and place over here and you can make it like a more uh, adjustable so how to do that so command or control t and make it bigger more bigger and you can just adjust over here so that's good and it could be like that and then you can make it a little bit blur so how to do that go to the filter and blur options and gaussian blur options from here the value will be 80 or 82 that's good and i'll down the opacity a little bit so here yeah that's good and after that i'll adjust the lights so how to do that go to the adjustment layer and go to the levels from here you're getting the value i'll make the value like this and like that so you're getting the huge change before one was like that and after one you're getting like that so you're getting output like this if you maintain my way thank you so much hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section it's me a signing out today and uh, bye bye